reviewing a 4K video camera. So this is 4K Ultra HD and I'm excited to review this because we have been wanting to get an upgraded camera from the one we're currently using. So I'm hoping it's in better quality. So right away we see they provide a really nice carrying case. So let's go ahead and open it up. Wow, looks like a lot of goodies in here. So it looks like a USB to outlet, probably for charging, I would think. Video light user guide, so they also provide you with a light. That is awesome, wow. And it looks like in here, oh this is interesting, a stereo microphone? Wow, they even provide a microphone, wow. A memory card? They provide a 64 gigabyte memory card? And a manual? And this is an HDMI to mini HDMI cable. You press this in and then push the battery over this way and that just loosens the battery up and you can pop it out, push it in, press it down and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and test out the light here. So this is how it would get mounted, this top piece, just like that. So far, very impressed. All right, so we're gonna test this out. And the best way to do this will be to, you guys are seeing the camera now, so we're gonna put it at the same position and we're gonna see the difference. All right, so we are testing this out. Different movements here different quality of stuff so we're going to show everything okay we're going to go ahead here and I guess let's see let's go ahead and rotate our camera here our lens okay so now we're going to go ahead and show some stuff show how it looks so this is just pretty much going over showing stuff how it's going to look up close, if it's going to zoom or focus, doesn't look like it is. So let's go ahead and turn on the light, let's see if the light makes any difference. Now I think that makes it worse. Show stuff like this. seems to have a hard time um, focusing with a big picture like when you're back this far everything's fine but if you try and get up close it seems to have issues a lot of cameras like these have this kind of problem though for close focus so we're gonna switch it and try another setting here alright this is now 1080 at 60 frames per second so just showing the difference here of the quality Let's see if it will now it still still has some trouble now what you can do is yeah so it's it's pretty much best range is somewhere like over in here Turn on some more light, maybe that will help. So now we got more light. It does seem to have, now that's from looking at the little screen, it doesn't seem to be focusing that good up close. So up close focus doesn't seem to be good. Now that's what I see, so once I actually see the video footage, it might look even better. So we'll see. But show fine detail. Okay, so we're going to go and test some other settings now. So 
So let's see if we actually put it down against just a regular backdrop, if it will get clear. So one last final video clip, as you guys can see, so from far away, I think it's like the best, I think from like back here. Like for a whole picture, I think it's, it's good, but for up close, I don't think it's going to be that good, but we'll see after testing out. When you zoom up with it, it's not too bad, but it still has got that little blur effect. We'll see. We'll see what the video shows and what you guys think.